All right, I looked around for a bit, but I didn't find anything interesting. But it was cool to just check Hogwarts house once in a while again. Um, so we're back in our common room. And we're going to talk after I eat an apple. Because it makes me look like more of an asshole. With this portrait of Eldritch Diggory. I hear one of your descendants will die in the future. Allow me to introduce myself. So few <laughs> students know who I am these days. Eldridge Diggory. Nice Former to meet you. Master for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program. At cool, Oz. man. Awesome. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder. What? The best book you found, and in particular, it's missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect. Sure. And most of us can keep a secret. Uh -huh. So, what say you? <laughs> Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Absolutely, I love murder. Murder sounds intriguing. Justice must be served. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. <laughs> Glad to hear you are up to the challenge. He's like, oh, that's weird, kid. But uh, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Whatever makes you help me. You with details. Helen Thistlewood. A skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. Uh -huh. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? I shall head there directly. How would the pages help her? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared. A boy! Pages. My boy! <laughs> what? A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. Oh, that's she terrible! Could exonerate her somehow. How? My niece can tell you more. Okay. Can you tell me more about Helen? Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to get away from the students and convert. Oh, absolutely. I get it, man. Absolutely. When were you minister? When were you the minister for magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. Mm. The stories I could tell you. Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. Aww. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. Dragon pox? <laughs> dragon pox? What? That sounds... Absolutely horrifying, but also awesome. I shall head there directly. Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant! Everyone loves to brilliant! Is this a is this an English thing? A British thing? The brilliant? I shall see you there. Soon I hope. Absolutely. I will eat cake though. Jesus Christ, a big the giant piece of cake. Gone in two bites. I must have been hungry. Oh my god, it's so slow. Here we go. <laughs> Fat Friar. The desire to be comfortable. It's interesting. Friar. I mean, I get it. But <laughs> the thing is, um, uh, German is the Fette Mönch. <laughs> Fat Friar. <laughs> ah, so, guys. How are we doing? How are we holding up? Where's my room exactly again? Upstairs, I think. Rebellio certainly never revealed the charm of my potion, Professor, back when I was at school. Okay. The honey dukes. The hunch. Zuckerwatten tanzen. What's it called in English? Cotton candy? Alright, I traveled all the way to Hogsmeade and we will run the rest. Wait, I think we have to go up and besides the thing up there. Da -da -da. Because we might see something cool on our way when we're traveling. Is that something to... No, that's just sunflowers. Ah, it's all locked. Ah, all locked. Why does everything has to be locked? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> the way I just stumped that shit open, I was like, nope. Whoa. Anything? Nope. Look, it's not that far away, I guess. Up there? 
Do, 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 do. Are those enemies? Wait. Hello. What is this? Loyalist warrior. Yeah, we're gonna beat their asses. We need the training. Hello. Oh, bah. Suck. Child. I won't rest until you're Haha! <laughs> oh, I don't want that. Uh, stop avoiding. Yeah, if I hold it, then I lock it and I. For you to learn the error of your ways. I uh, throw it back and they just disappear. All right, that's cool. Ooh, nice fire. Isn't that awesome? I, I read the instructions again. <laughs> Destroy that. Nope. Then like this. What's the point? Why can't I destroy that? This, I think they're more meant to be used for swinging away. Yes. Okay. Heavy fucker. Revelio. Anything of interest here? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. What is this here? <sighs> so full of mud, everything. What the? This place has seen better days. Uh, what the hell is this? <gasps> Investigate? Oh yeah. Now what? I pressed it. What does it do? <laughs> Revelio. Okay, I have to open that up somehow. Um, but how? How do I do that? Uh, can I go up there? Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll find a way, I hope. Scarf. Uh. uh, do I need to burn that? Wait a second. There we go. What the hell is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera, please. I don't know why, but I did that. Who the F lit the candles here? <laughs> How does that even work? And what is this? Whoa. What the fuck was that? Now it's up there. Do I have to follow it or? Huh? Wait, how do I get up there? Protego. No, jump. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Jumpy jump jump. Woo! And now the last one is down there, I think. Rebellion. Anything else? No. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, down with us. Oh you can jump. Hello? There you go. Good girl. That wasn't so difficult. No, it wasn't. Ancient magic hotspot, complete a challenge to increase something. I couldn't read that in time. But good good to know that that's possible. Cool. Revelio. There's a pot outside. Well, all these gears are not that... Whoa! Good. How awesome is that? Oh, look, what is this? Lace wing flies. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's going on over there? Is that a, a merchant? Yes. It looks like it. Hello. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do, but uh, <laughs> did I do? You didn't like yourself doing out here. Got yourself lost, did you? Nah, I like to explore. Just exploring the countryside a bit. Aye. <laughs> Aye. I like the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock. And I thought I he said Babadook. Now, 
For someone like yourself who is also <laughs> Shrek in the background is judging us harshly. Of keeping some Wigan world potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. By the way, how do I use Wigan World Potion again if I die? I might have to look at the settings again. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Hey, let me know if you see something you like. Missy Wes. Yeah, let me what see him. That's been a pleasure. Absolutely, man. <laughs> Just sold a bit of stuff. In the hopes that I don't Rebellion. make a mistake by doing that, but honestly, if I do, well, what can you do? Nothing! What can you say about it? You can't say shit, because you're not here to support me in my trials. There was a ding. It's over there. Kitty cat. Hello, kitty kid. How you doing? Yes, why do you look like a normal cat? Thought they don't have those in, well, the wizarding world. Thought they have like this extra thing. Nope, oh, wrong button. Rebellion. Aha! Squip Cottage. This I <laughs> idyllic country cottage belongs to an elderly squib who chose to live in the wizarding world rather than try to integrate with muggles like some squibs do. He is content to farm his land non-magically and supply local hamlets with fresh fruits and vegetables. Although he will accept the occasional engorgement charm on a gourd or two. Oh, that's cool. That's why a cat is around. Because the squib lives, lives here. I didn't mean to. I wanted to collect the thing over there, but that's also nice. <laughs> and I was, Wait, there's a second cat? I didn't see you. I thought I was just one. I thought I can collect these things here because there were herbs, but no. That's cool, Rebellion. man. Well, squibs are the guys who... Uh, I, it, what, what was it? They come from magic parents, but they don't have magic themselves. So they're muggles, but, you know. Oh, they're graves. Okay. Did I talk to you? No, nope. I'm just gonna huh. jump over your crops, man. Sorry if I flatten them in the process. It's not my intention. But, you know. Wo gehobelt wird fallen Spiene, as we like to say. Oops. Still nothing. It's a poacher. Rebellion. Where? Over there. Oh, hell yeah. Um. Expelliarmus! I'm out before I fight you. Protego! Stupid one! Ha-ha! Oh, <laughs> I say ha uh ha. -huh. And there! Oh ho Beasts are safer now. What? Oh yeah, because there were poachers. Did I collect the fur? <laughs> oh no, I can't save the rabbit! No! My life is in ruins. Oh shit. Can I at least open the chest? Yeah. Another rope. I find a lot of ropes and stuff, which it's nice, it's always great to find stuff, but... What kind of poachers are these? They just... Ca caught one single rabbit? Protego. No, go up. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. I'm a loser, baby. A loser. But we can be losers together. What the fuck was that sound? Rebellion. It's like some mice or something. Is that a... What the hell are you? Oh, it's another cat. Hello. Aww, sweetie. Aww, I love you. I think over there's a Merlin trial. Yes, I know. Um, I'll check that out in a second. After checking everything here out. Is that a trial or? Protego. No, don't Protego anything. Oh. Just jump over the fucking thing. What is this? Rebellion. 
Uh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> what is happening? Incendio. Mm. I don't think I can do anything with that yet. Well, would you mind helping a poor old witch? I thought she was going to say, "Would you mind fucking leaving? What are you doing here?" You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. Ah, I'm these omens! Sick, but they only—they're nothing but good. <laughs> right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes. That's yes. I, I mean, I'm all out. Your logic is flawed. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I can only do the invisibility spell, but that's careful. that won't be of much help for you. Careful. Yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't I don't. If I would, I would give it to you, but if I would have some, I would, but I won't. Is it? I would so appreciate a little help. Well, I can't fucking help you. <laughs> Good luck, lady. Here you go, bitch. It was nowhere to You've be seen. Follower, Ran Rock. Yeah, Ran Rock, whoever you are. I don't remember. I exploded those by touching them. I am the best wizard in the world. <laughs> stranger. Hello, stranger. You're just standing here in the middle of the night with a hat? Fair enough. What's this? <laughs> Nothing of the interest for us. All right, let's flu flames. Welcome uh -huh. to Hogsfield, charming hamlet. Don't tell the residents of Lower Hogsfield I said that. <laughs> okay. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Yeah, she sure does. Warning: Duck bog sighting. Be careful. What is a duck bog? Da, da, da. Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. <laughs> Dorothy Sprottle. Hello. Me. Did you say something about Bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Huh. Is, he was seen in the forest. <laughs> he was seen. I'm moving my hand. I saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot. I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Mm. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. No, I don't mind. Um. Why would Bardolf get involved with Rockwood? Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed mm. him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. What? <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. The loyalists, the Ashwinders, and we're using completely different names. Because I said, why would he get involved with the Ashwinders? But he is Rockwood. And I'm like, what is going on? Is his name Rockwood Ashwinder or something? I don't under I don't get it anymore. I, I don't understand the story <laughs> because it's been a year since I played this and I'm like, uh Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. Mm. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. Ah, he a fortnight. He's been held captive or worse. Okay. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire <laughs> knitted herself. Okay. Rebellion. Brothers like keep a quest her. started. Cool. Uh, get it over there. <laughs> Good lord. Whoa! Don't do that. No. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ! Why? Whoa. I'm back up. <laughs> I'm fine. God, was that unnecessary? So much stuff. I want to have it all. Can I get into your house? And steal? Yes. I can steal, but very slowly. Chest. Arrow brown. What? Okay. Revelio. Over there, and other than that. Oh, oh hello. Children are wearing now. Never thought I'd see the day. I mean, I don't. Um, you shouldn't. You shouldn't take me as a, as the average, young kid fashion advisor. I only wear it because it's the best gear I have at the moment. I'm not wearing it to be fashionable. What's this? Dude, who the fuck walks into someone's house and just immediately starts drinking whatever is standing over there <laughs> at the table? Rebellion. That's awful. You don't know what could be in there. You don't know if someone wanted to drink that. There's a lot going on for such a small village. Hello. You also have a quest for me. But... My first... The thistle and the badge, part two or three. The thistle and the badge. Tips in the hat, please. Helen Thistlewood, re reflections of a former aura. I have a lot of time these days to reflect upon my career. I wonder if the good we did balances out the mistakes we made along the way. Did we always catch our criminals? No. Did we sometimes put away the wrong person? It's possible. Is that an acceptable bleh, I can't read. Is that an acceptable risk when it comes to preserving the well-being of the wizarding world at large? I'd like to think so. But then again, I'm not an innocent witch moldering away in Azkaban. If I were, then perhaps I should feel differently. Hmm. It is a quandary without a solution, or at least not one that I am likely to solve. This is the problem with retirement. It leaves one with too much time to dwell upon bygone problems. But there's nothing one can do about it. Oh, and my bluebells died. <laughs> oh, by the way, that also. <laughs> oh, the thistle and the badge. Two, three of three. I'm still dwelling upon my big hypothetical from the other day. I always made certain that I could defend my decisions before the wizengamot should the need arise. I was required to do this on rare occasions and it was never a pleasant experience, no matter how confident I was. Despite what some believe, the ministry is far from omnipotent and when I hung up my badge I left behind quite a few unsolved cases. If I had all the time in the world I doubt I could solve them all. But should the opportunity arise to revisit one and correct any mistakes I made, I will certainly take it. That's the only way to rest easy about my career. Never hesitate to fix mistakes, especially if they are yours to begin with. I fear that in our haste to meet our, our justice, is that how you say it? To mate? Meet? Our justice. We may inadvertently become the vehicle for injustice. I fear this especially for myself. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Oh, and I'm through with gardening. I need a new hobby. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, retirement. You have a lot of time on your hands. So where's the number one thing here? Is Helen the one we have to talk about? Talk to? I think so, right? The thistle and the mud. Retirement isn't what I expected. I enjoy the leisure time, of course, but I do miss the excitement of hunting magical fugitives. Oh, I can f feel that. I know you're not supposed to admit that you actually enjoy the turmoil associated with the job, but how can you feel anything other than exhilaration when chasing an... A, and you were... Isn't there an... Shouldn't there be an N there? Not an A? I'm not sure. An Ukrainian iron belly through a muggle city and then obliviating all of the muggles who saw you or foiling a dark wizard's plot to take over the ministry with an army of Chinese chomping cabbages using only a single basket of bouncing bulbs. 
When a ministry finally makes all of my old cases public, my neighbours will never look at me the same way again. Old Madam Thistlewood, down the lane is the one who put the nasty brute so-and-so in Azkaban. For now, I can merely insinuate, lest I divulge something confidential. I would hate to force my former colleagues into locking me away in Azkaban. Not an appealing thought. Well, I suppose I should check on my garden. The bluebells have been struggling this season. <laughs> they died. Rebellion. Oh, how nice. Dear sister, it's a letter, I didn't read which one. It's been some time since we've heard from you. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and hope that you're doing well. You'll be happy to know that we've all made our peace with your decision to become an aura, as dangerous as it is. You must live your life and follow your path. You're doing so in the service of the wizarding world. I am proud to call you sister. I must inform you of something that you may find curious. It seems a troll has taken up residence in the train tunnel near town. The poor thing's most certain to learn a tragic lesson about the fundamental velocity of locomotives. Right soon, Eddie Thistlewood. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. All right, Helen Thistlewood, hello. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. You came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found. <laughs> there he is in the background. May be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Death There's only the fire cackling in the background. I was like listening in, but the music disappeared. Anne. They never found his body. Mm. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, unaware of how he died, oh, and God. Was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. Oida. Well, in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. What a bitch! But I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. Ah! Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section. If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least, that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jack Dorf... Insisted! Him, ...but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jack well, if I'm going to solve it, I can say how stupid is she, because if I can solve it, then... Oh my god, dude. ...all the names... Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. That's I don't terrible. Understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, oh she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. Well, she follows you, the advice of the Gravity Falls book, then. Pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. Come with you to Azkaban if it will save her. I'm not sure I want to visit anything to see Azkaban. I've always wanted to see Azkaban. Count me in. I suppose it has a peculiar appeal to some. <laughs> but it can be terribly yeah, absolutely, but I need to see it at least once. Fortunately, being a retired aura has... But like, how sense. awful is it? To right to this her. black chick, not she, she is black, but her name was black. <laughs> How awful of her to just be like, I'm jealous of this girl, so I will ruin her fucking life. Tell me more. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is Muggleborn. Oh my God, that's so bad! Why would you do that? Why would like Azkaban, like intentionally like sending someone that. there? That poor soul, never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved uh. to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. 
I'd like to clear her name if we can. It's more for yourself though, because she is absolutely broken at this point, right? So it's more for your own well-being and conscious. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. <laughs> Being a ghost must be aw awesome. You can just go anywhere. Very well. Let's <sighs> go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Absolutely. Worry, I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now. And tread lightly in that horrible place. Yes. We'll be there in but a moment. <laughs> Why was her mouth open like this? 